So on 8, 9, 10, and 11, all of these are actually asking us to find the area of the circle. So the difference is how, how the answer is going to be written. So for 8 and 9, they want us to leave pi in our answer. And then for 10 and 11, if you can see down here, they're asking us to use 3, 314 instead of pi. Okay, so you see I have, I have the formula already written four times because it's the same area formula. The only difference is on these ones up here, we're not going to replace pi with 314. And then the ones down here we are. So again, remember the radius. This is the So the radius is 7 kilometers here. So all I need to do is replace the r with 7. And then, and then this is 7 times 7. It's not 7 times 2. Okay, some people um, forget that. So 7 squared is 49. And then there's my pi. Okay. And then the only other thing left is to put the units. And remember, area is always squared. Area is two-dimensional, and that's why they have the square. Um, that's number 8. If we look at number 10, number 10, I'm sorry, number 9, uh, the 10 is the diameter because it goes all the way across and through the center. Okay, so that means the radius, which is halfway, would be 5. So then I'm going to go to my formula, put in 5 here, 5 squared. Again, this is 5 times 5, which is 25. Keep the pi, and then keep the units, which is meter squared. And that's the answer. And I box everything in because that's that's what I would want to see on your paper. Technically, this is the answer, right? The bottom one, the very bottom line. The very bottom line on all of these is the answer. All the previous ones also. Um, but that's A for area, not A for answer. <laughs> Even though that is our answer. So that's number 8 and 9. So then 10 and 11. Again, 10 and 11, very similar. But instead of pi, I'm actually going to use 314 to find the area. So again, because this goes from the center to the edge of the circle, I know that's the radius. So again, it says it says use 314 for pi. So instead of pi, I'm going to put 314. And I'm going to put that in parentheses because then I have my, my radius. And if I don't have it in parentheses, then, then it looks like a bunch of dots in here. And it, to me, it looks confusing. But you just just memorize this is multiply, or just remember this is multiply. So then I type it into my calculator, and I'm going to go ahead and type it in with the parentheses, 3.9 squared. And there it is, we get 47.8. So the area is 47.8, and then the units, feet squared. So again, that was the only difference is we put 314 in here instead of pi. Um, and then again, this one, the radius is 5 because this measurement is the diameter. Okay. So I'm going to say the area is pi, but instead of pi, we're using 314 for these. The radius is 5 squared. So let me go with 314, close the parentheses, 5 squared, push enter, and then that's a nice 78.5, and that's feet squared. Okay. So if you look at number 12 and 13, so this is find the area of a sector. And remember the area, you can think of the area as a pizza slice. And then the area formula, because, because we're finding a portion of the circle, see this is the area of a circle, we're just finding a fraction of the circle. That's why there's the fraction in front. And then A, A is the angle of the sector. 
So that would be our A. And then the radius, well, that's still the radius. So I'm going to put it over here. A is 60 degrees. R is 13 kilometers because that goes from the center to the edge. Substitute that into the formula. <coughs> the angle of the sector is 60 degrees. That's how much of the entire circle we're taking. Um, because they're asking us to round to the nearest tenth, I am going to replace pi with 314, and then the radius is 13. And again, we type all that in our calculator. Um, 60 divided by 360, parentheses, 314 instead of pi, and then 13 squared. 88.4 88.4 and then again don't forget the units is kilometer squared okay um, let's move on to 13 Again, the formula you don't have to have memorized. It just needs to be in the notebook somewhere. Um, that way you know what it is. A is the angle inside the sector. Here's the sector. This arrow is telling me which sector to use or which part of the circle we're finding um, the area of. So that's A. 22 or 225. And again, that's the radius, because it goes from the center out. The radius isn't always 13. I don't know why these two. I should have picked different examples. But the radius is 13 on both of these. Substitute that information into the formula. The angle of the sector is 225. All right. Well, or we're only finding 225 out of the 360 degrees uh, area. Pi is 314. And then the radius is 13. Substitute or plug that into the calculator. 225 divided by 360. Instead of pi, we're going to use 314. And then 13 squared. And the area is 331.7. Okay, that rounds up to 0.7. That 6 bumps that, that 6 up. And that was Friday or Thursday, depending on what class period you're in, Thursday or Friday's worksheet.